Welcome to Family Faith Creek. Today we're going to learn about the greatest commandment. My name is Kathy and I invite you to join us to learn more about God and his love for us. Now right here I have a candle and when we light it, light just brightens up so much around us. And so when we talk about this light, we can bring the light into the world and make it a better place. And today, Rachel is going to sing a song about Give Me Oil in My Lamp. Oil is kind of like the wax and the wick. The oil will keep it lit. And so here's Rachel. Thank you. Are there rules that you have to follow when you get in the car? Like, wear your seatbelt, make sure it's strapped across your shoulder, don't shout in the car. I have some signs of road signs that are rules to be followed. Here is a yield sign. That means to slow down. Here was one that's very familiar. It's a stop sign. You have to stop. Here's another rule, a speed limit of 25. Here's a one-way sign where you only can go the direction the arrow is going. Crosswalk, if you're going to cross your street, you stay between the lines. And here's one you see more in the rural areas. It's a railroad track crossing. Railroad, and there's an X that you have to be careful that a train might be going by. And here's a rule that we're all following right now. Wearing our masks. We wear our masks when we go outside, when we go to school, when we're around people. These are rules that we are all following. Well today, part of the rule we're gonna find, follow is a commandment. A commandment is a rule. And the greatest commandment is what we're going to be talking about. Now, once again, remember those Pharisees, the religious leaders, they are trying to trick Jesus. Man, it seems like their goal is to just mess with Jesus and trick him. But Jesus doesn't have any part of that. So our reading today is in Matthew chapter 22. On this book, it's on page 308. In the Adventure Bible, it's on 1,151. And in the Beginner Bible, you can look at the Beginner Bible and look at a picture while I'm telling you the story. Here it goes. The Pharisees heard that the Sadducees, and the Sadducees were a group of people that the law, 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 the written law is what they would just follow all the time. The Pharisees heard that the Sadducees weren't able to answer Jesus. So the Pharisees got together. One of them was an authority on the law. So he tested Jesus with the question, Teacher, he asks, which is the most important commandment in the law? And Jesus replied, 
Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Everything that is written in the law and the prophets is based on these two commandments. When you talk about the Ten Commandments, the first three commandments are about loving God. The last seven are about loving your neighbor. And Jesus wants us to love with all our heart and our mind and our soul because where that leads us we are following Jesus, and we are following the commandment of loving. Now, even though the Pharisees tried to trick Jesus, he would have no part of that. And so right now, I'm going to ask you a few questions. I want you to put a thumbs up if it is following the commandment, or a thumbs down if it is not. Helping with the dishes, is that loving? Thumbs up. How about if you tease someone about their clothes? Thumbs down. What if you're making fun of a new kid at school? Thumbs down. What about if you let a friend cheat off of your test? That's a little harder, isn't it? Because he's your friend, but it's cheating. That's a thumbs down, because in the long run, that's not gonna help either one of you. How about if you tell on your brother or sister for making you mad? That's a thumbs down too. If it's a safety issue, by all means, you have to tell a grown up. But if you're telling just to make problems or get them in trouble, not so good. That's not showing love to others. How about if you invite a new kid to school? How about if you invite a new kid to your birthday party? How about if you whine about something your mom and dad want you to do and you don't want to do it? Another thumbs down. How about if you forgive a friend that is saying something mean to you. Thumbs up. Forgiveness is a way of showing love to others too. Jesus tells us that sometimes it's hard to show love to others, but we can know that he loves us and forgives us and we can forgive others. Today at your table talk time when you're sitting around with your family or you're in the car or going for a walk, Share a time when it was really, really hard to show love to someone. And then, how did it feel after you did show love to that person? Today for our activity, and if you log on to our websites on our Family Faith Creek page, you're going to make these little fortune tellers. And there are ideas to put on there there's directions how to make one, ideas on which to color, and which ones to put numbers on, and you can play this game with a buddy showing how you are showing love to others. God created us. We are in his image. He loves us, and he commands us to love one another. Rachel, will you please sing, Give Me Oil in Our Lamp, please?
Let's close with prayer. Dear God, you have told us that the way to live happily is to love each other. You showed us the way to do that when you sent Jesus into the world to teach us how to love. We can show our love for you by caring for each other and the beautiful world you created for us. Thank you for all that you have done for us. Today we thank you especially for the love you give to us. Amen.